Hello and welcome to the program. The Ukrainian film industry over the past few years received several powerful incentives for development and today it is a promising partner in content production. Movies made in Ukraine play a significant part in forging Ukraine's new progressive, independent identity. They are also more and more often critically acclaimed in different international festivals. Now to talk more about the development of film production in Ukraine, we are joined in the studio today by Istan Rozumny, filmmaker, screenwriter and actor. Hello and thank you for joining us. So, um, first question, you were born and grew up uh, in Canada. You trained as a film director in uh, Winnipeg and uh, then you worked in the film industry in, uh, in Toronto. Then you decided to come uh, in Ukraine, to Ukraine. What was the trigger? Why? Um, yeah, it's an interesting story. I was actually working in Montreal mm -hmm. as, a, as a director and uh, I was working on a project uh, over three years. We were shooting a, f uh, a documentary, a docudrama about the Second World War. So from like 2004 to, to six, I was here. I'd come for two months, then go back home. We'd come back, we'd shoot. And uh, it was in 2006, late, uh, late in the year, and we were in Kharkiv, and I just, I fell in love with the place, and I saw the potential, and I'm like, uh, that's it. I'm gonna try to make a run for it. So I, uh, I had a chance to come here for three months in the beginning of 2007, and three months is now 12 years. So the first city was Kharkiv. Uh, no, my, my epiphany happened okay. in, in Kharkiv, but I, I, was, I, I was in Cape Lviv, all mm -hmm. over the country. We were shooting um, from, from the Karpate to Odessa, all over the country. Now, um, coming from, from Canada was the, uh, well, there's a huge Ukrainian-Canadian uh, diaspora, uh, of course, but what was the language that was learning Ukrainian an issue for you? Ukrainian language? Yeah. No, no, actually, it's my, uh, it's my native language. Mm -hmm. my, uh, growing up, we were speaking Ukrainian in the house. So, um, yeah, I mean, my English is my, is my best language, but uh, uh, no, I, I knew the language. It's gotten better since I've mm -hmm. been here, but uh, no, language is, uh, is not an issue. I, I kind of came uh, already prepared. Okay. Uh, now, how many films and commercial, commercials have you, have you shot here in Ukraine so far? Roughly. Oh, geez, that's a tough question. I should have done research before. <laughs> um, uh, acted, acted in about, I don't know, half a dozen, eight, nine, maybe ten movies, uh, feature length, various parts. Uh, commercials, I mean, I don't know, I've acted in a million of them, but mm -hmm. uh, produced about, about 15, and mostly in the last three, four years. So you worked in Canada and uh, you worked in Ukraine, well, I would say, uh, if you could point out fundamental differences uh, or, or not by the, in the way of working in between those two, uh, those two places? Uh, I think the biggest difference between uh, crews and the way of working in, uh, in, in the West is um, attitude. Uh, the level here is very high, but sometimes there's an issue about uh, you know, kind of like dragging your feet, uh, being a bit slow. There's, it's, it's not as hyper organized mm -hmm. as it is in the West. It's not as quick, but it is fast. It, it just, it's, just new, it's just details that you notice that it's... Uh, For example, uh, you have like, something well, wrong with people are slow. Sometimes you see attitude on set. Uh, they, there's not that, mm -hmm. that jump, jump, jump. I, I don't want to generalize because it's, it's a very high level. I mean, the, the, the creative talent here is, is, is top. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not second best. Actually, Cave right now is one of the best places, the top places in the world to shoot short format. Music videos, commercials, it's, it's, up, it's up there. It's the new Prague. Yeah. It's, and it brings me to my, uh, to my next question. As you, as you said, it, it is a, uh, indeed a hotspot for those uh, commercial and, and short films. Now, how to, um, you talked about the, creativ the creativity here in the high level, how to ensure that it doesn't become another uh, cheap destination with you know, uh, easy access to certain location and have its own uh, cultural producing identity and how to ensure that the young generation here, the young talents can benefit actually from the foreign uh, money plus, you know, there is an exchange. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think that that's a, a negative thing for it to be a place mm. that, is, that is cheap. And um, it's, it's less expensive to shoot here. And that's why people shoot here because mm -hmm. it's less expensive and it's very, it's very high level. The talent is very high. So foreigners shoot here a lot. And they shoot. They don't come here to shoot little things, right? Mm -hmm. To let stupid little. They yeah. come here to shoot big stuff because you can afford it. So I think it's actually good. 
I think the system is good, that it's, that it's less expensive, which attracts a lot of people um, to shoot here. A lot of money comes into it, into the business. People are constantly coming, working, Ukrainians mm -hmm. get to work in the film industry, be it uh, cinematographers, directors, actors, uh, art directors, whatever, you name it. Mm -hmm. um, I see no negative, like no negatives whatsoever. Uh, there could be perhaps um, a little organization when it came to, comes to payment and mm -hmm. perhaps the, 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 the difference of... of, of uh yeah, just just uh, so the people don't feel perhaps sometimes that they're taken advantage of, but at this point where it's just it's emerging, I think the the low cost of it is 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 a great thing. Okay, so so you were saying that the, this one generation, thanks to foreign investors and foreign uh, directors, can feel included in a, in a wider, uh, let's say, international process here, basically. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's yeah. <laughs> you have you have directors, you have production companies from around the world coming here and shooting films. In the last six months, I've acted in, never mind Ukrainian films, but I've acted in in an in Israeli and a German feature film. Mm -hmm. And this is me. In the, there's so much going on here. It's unbelievable. There is so much happening. Ukrainian and foreign, it's, it's probably one of the best places for somebody who's young in the world to be, to get a step into the business. For example, actors. I mean, you try to become an actor in, in the West, North yeah, America, you're you're, yeah. it's tough. Yeah. I mean, you have yeah. unions. It's it's a ridiculously tough way to get to, to break in. Here, you just pull people off the street. There's no, mm. there's no uh, limitations. So it's all good. I think you got to look at the positive in any kind of situation. Uh, now, there's um, another topic that I want to raise is about the uh, uh, Ukrainian film industry, the creation in the film industry uh, in, uh, itself. Recently, we've seen a rise in what we could call a patriotic uh, genre. Um, I'm, th I'm thinking the, about the Battle of Kruti, I'm thinking about uh, Kiborg and all, the, all that kind of movies. Some directors, some Ukrainian directors, uh, raised uh, this issue that so the overproduction of patriotic, so called patriotic movies, could asphyxiate a certain creativity, a certain uh, 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 way of exploring new genre. What's your, what's your, what's your take on that? Uh, I think it'll work itself out naturally. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, there's a war going on here. Yeah, of course, indeed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it's it's they're they're making movies about it. I think it'll work itself out. I think it's uh, once the market becomes saturated with it, um, it'll be a natural progression to drift away from the patriotic war movies to something more social, more everyday. It's going to work itself out. And the fact that they are, we are. I mean, I'm acting in a movie right now. It mm -hmm. just wrapped like uh, a month ago about Ilovaisk. Uh, the fact that they're shooting, we're shooting these kind of things is is good. It's. I think the market works everything out, and the people, the viewers, they decide, and it's just a, an organic thing that that I think will always just mm -hmm. make itself clear. Because uh, yeah, of course, there's all. There's, I'm, I'm thinking about the, this movie, When the Trees Fall, that has been uh, recently released, which is basically some sort of like magical realism, and they're like pushing, you know, to be in the continuity of Parajanov and, and all that kind of thing. And so there's definitely a new, uh, a new niche here. How to ensure that those, you know, uh, little uh, niche films can, you know, still exist throughout this you process. Write the scripts. You got to write the mm. scripts, and you got to have producers and distributors who are willing to, to, uh, to show it, and then. Um, the audience will either go or won't go. I think the audience will go. So you just gotta you gotta write the scripts and you gotta have producers that that want to work on this kind of stuff and, and distributors mm -hmm. that'll show it in the theaters. It's it's um, there's a, it's a it's a very high level of talent here. I don't think I don't think people understand it. I mean I've said it a few times. I've been working in this business for 25 years, if not more, mm -hmm. in Europe, in the States, in Canada. And it's very, 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 very high level here. It's it's top of the world. Like even computer graphics, CG, yeah. uh, cameraman, uh, actors. It's very high, and it's um, it's all good. It's all good. So you've been living uh, here for quite an amount of time. You saw the Maidan. You saw a lot of changes. Um, according to you, and uh, to conclude this interview, what's left to be done? And if you had any. Uh, advice of or, or position about like what uh, the uh, Ukrainian film industry or Ukrainian society still has to overcome to become uh, even other even higher higher level here in the film industry yeah in the film industry um, I think it all comes down to distribution 
and I think it's uh, you've got to show these movies, mm -hmm. and uh, whether it be some kind of system with the government that the government subsidizes uh, the distributors to show these kind of movies. Uh, we had the same kind of thing in Canada 30, 40 years ago, if not more, uh, Canadian content, where you were forced to, to play Canadian music, Canadian, Canadian TV shows, uh, films. You had to mm -hmm. be put, because we were, we were like smothered by the Americans. And uh, it worked. It worked and uh, it raised the level. So I think it's, it's some kind of, there has to be maybe a plan uh, that's realistic, that's beneficial for everybody, for the, for the distributors. And um, yeah, a little bit more cooperation and uh, long-term long -term thinking in, in, in... In what sense? Long -term sense. <sighs> to build a base of talent and to build an awareness and a, a level of sophistication of the viewer. Mm -hmm. um, not not short term for financial gain, but long term to to help. I mean, that's isn't that the the whole point of culture, is to is to be a, a foundation of the country. So I think it's got to take some rational um, minds to to make it grow and have have long term uh, goals. I think it's 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 doable here. Okay, well. Thank you, uh, thank you for this, uh, for shedding light on, uh, on this issue today and thank you for joining us in our studio. It was a pleasure. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, that was Istan Razumni, filmmaker, screenwriter and actor. Thank you for watching the program and stay tuned for the rest.